My name is Connor McClellan. I'm 20. I'm currently taking a Bachelor of Science at Dalhousie with the intention of majoring in psychology. It was the sleep disorder that brought me in to uh, see the doctor first of all and uh, later on I was uh, diagnosed with general anxiety disorder. After a while I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder as well. When I was about mm, 13 or so I started having trouble sleeping and after a while I noticed that I was having a whole lot of anxiety at school and part of that anxiety was related to just social issues at school. I was afraid of what it might mean if I was somehow different, what people would think, and how I'd be judged. I felt kind of outcast, I suppose. It was around that time that I felt that I wasn't fitting in around other people. People, it seemed, were ignoring me. That only made the anxiety worse. People never really asked questions. They just kind of assumed that something was wrong. If there's a, a scale of anxiety, most people would feel a three or a four at most, whereas I was going seven, eight, nine, simply from regular activities in the day. The sleep problems were only exacerbating those. For me, uh, the anxiety manifested mostly in physical symptoms. I was mostly feeling sick, like I had a, a stomach flu of some sort. And it was at its worst in the morning when I needed to get out of bed and go to school. I was, well, I felt safer at home. That was my comfort zone. And leaving the comfort zone was the most anxiety inducing part of the day. There were a few times in the first class or two when I felt very sick and ended up having to leave because I was going to throw up and this happened every day for years. By the time I was in grade eight the anxiety was so bad that I couldn't go to school anymore and I lost contact with all of my friends. Grade 10 came along and I was at high school and the anxiety worsened quite a bit there. There was a, a whole lot of other people and people were coming and going and my social life was not not what I felt like it could be. Sleep was getting worse, anxiety was getting worse. When I was about 17 I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder is the presence of obsessive thoughts and Often these thoughts can lead to compulsions to do something in order to lessen the uh, frequency of these thoughts. Uh, I would have obsessive thoughts that I know weren't based in reality, but I would still feel that I needed to act on them. I was doing a lot of things that I w wasn't normally doing. I was washing my hands uh, a couple times an hour. I felt like I couldn't touch some objects or other people. I couldn't shake hands with other people. Uh, I was organizing things far too much, not, not in a normal manner. People around me didn't really understand what was going on. They didn't really see a reason for me to be washing my hands so often or why I might want to turn the light off in a room that I wasn't even in or why I, I favored certain numbers over others. For me, having OCD caused a lot of stress. I stopped going to school entirely. This time it lasted all of the rest of grade 10, all of grade 11, and all of grade 12. I completely lost contact with all of my friends. Stigma is the fear of being different, the fear of being judged and often being judged by other people as different in some way. Uh, I've experienced it. Uh, on a number of levels. I've been referred to as uh, one of those people a number of times. If I had had a, a physical illness of some sort, uh, I would be treated just like everybody else. Uh, I wouldn't be referred to as one of those people, and often that's the case with stigma. 
uh, if somebody has a, a mental illness, either depression or anxiety or anything else, they feel that admitting that they have that is somehow uh, a weakness. If a teacher were able to spot somebody with a, an anxiety disorder, knowing more about that anxiety disorder would be extremely helpful. Being knowledgeable about the subject is extremely important. I intend to continue studying psychology at Dow and use my experiences to help others who might be having trouble in those areas.